Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy FortiGate on VMware Workstation. Let's get started. Open web browser and type in support.fortinet.com. Once page is loaded, you need to have an account. If you do not have an account, proceed with registration. Otherwise, next step is simple login. Once you are logged in, head to the top, click on the drop down menu support, then click on VM images. Platform for all specific case will be VMware ASXi and I will be deploying version 726. Be careful in this list and select new deployment of FortiGate for VMware. Navigate to your download folder and simply extract content of this archive. For simplicity I am going to straight directly for VMware Workstation. And we are going to deploy this virtual machine via option Open. Once again navigate to your download folder and open extracted files. The one which we are going for is fortigate-vm64.ovf. Here you can simply write down the name of the virtual machine. For easy recognition I'm just going to write down FGT plus version. Now, before you start Virtual Machine, navigate to the top, click on Edit and select Virtual Network Editor. VMNet 0 by default is Bridged Adapter. If it is selected to Automatic, open drop-down menu and make sure it is bridged to your network card which is connected to Internet. This adapter is intended to be used as one facing interface. For the sake of demonstration, I am going to add a new network, VMNet 6. This adapter is intended to be used for local network facing interface. And I will assign a simple subnet ID 192.168.1.0. it is applied, I just want to point out that you can use one of existing networks, preferably not used anywhere. VMNet 6 was created just for demonstration purposes of this video. Close this window and jump to the settings of the virtual machine. Just like previously mentioned, this will be internet facing interface and therefore I am going to assign VMNet 0 here. Network adapter 10 will be interface intended for local traffic and will be assigned to VMNet 6. And at this point we are ready to start our virtual machine FortiGate deployment. You can log in with admin, press enter on password and when you are logging first time you will be forced to change password. To show basic information about virtual machine you can type in command get system status. Without wasting too much time let's jump to configure our LAN facing interface. 
you can do so with command config system interface. And when you type edit following with question mark, you will get a brief description of the interfaces. As you can see, internet facing interface has already IP assigned by DHCP. But for now, I am going to configure port 10 as LAN facing interface. So first, let's assign IP address. Following with subnet mask. Then allow administrative access on this port by command set allow access. And the last thing is requirement which is assigning this port to the VDOM. You can save changes with end and we are ready to access this virtual machine via GUI interface. So let me quickly jump to our browser. And you can simply type in IP address which we have assigned to the port 10. On your initial login via GUI interface you will see window like this. If you do not have luxury of purchased license, you can select evaluation license and with limitations you are all set to test your freshly deployed FortiGate. However, if you do have license, the next step would be to register your VM and get the license file which you will upload here. Let me show you how. Let's quickly switch back to FortiCloud and on the top you will see drop down list named service. Click on that, then click on asset management. In this window simply proceed with the wizard, register now. Once you got your license file, simply click on upload and upload your license. Alright, that's it for deployment part, so let me show you one more thing before we wrap this up. I'm going to quickly enable DHCP services on board 10. In the background I have started GNS3. If you are interested how to set up this amazing software, link will be in the description. And after saving configuration, I will jump to GNS3. Here I am going to quickly show you how to implement your FortiGate into the lab environment. On the dashboard I will place pre-installed virtual machine and follow up with the cloud. And cloud represent connection to the outside world. But this time we are not going out directly to the outside world. We will be connecting to the FortiGate which is listening on VMNet 6, which is as previously mentioned our LAN facing interface. And for better flexibility I will be also placing non-manageable switch on the dashboard. 
Now the only thing left to do is connect it virtually with the cables. We are ready to start emulation with the green button. With the command ifconfig I am going to verify IP configuration and as you can see we have successfully received IP address from the FortiGate. At this point we should be able to ping our gateway and also access it via GUI interface. Alright, that's it for now, I hope you found this video helpful and see you next time.